Hot take. You have the wrong mindset about screenplay format. And if you don't, then you probably used to. <laughs> I am Carl C. Rogers, a story philosopher, a writer and director, teaching you how to leverage visual storytelling for your screenwriting. And so as someone who teaches screenwriting, I meet a ton of people online who struggle with learning how to tell a story visually using screenplay formatting. Now some of the people, but not all, that I run into, who are especially who are starting out in screenwriting, they find formatting to be either some kind of weird technicality at best or some kind of annoying roadblock at worst. But regardless of the view that you have, in this video, I'm gonna show you why changing the way you think about screenplay formatting is an important part of your journey to becoming a working screenwriter. On the one hand, it's normal for people to struggle with learning the basics of formatting early on. I mean, writing a screenplay is really weird compared to all the different other types of literature that are out there, but it shouldn't stay that way. And so for some people, once they learn the basics of how to do a format, like this is a slug line, and this is where the dialogue goes, that's a, they think that's all they need to know and they just kind of ignore the finer details. Some people think they just don't need to learn any of it at all and that abiding by these rules or these conventions kind of like harms their creativity. Or you've got other people that think, well, I should just focus on my story first because formatting is, you know, I don't need that now. That I'll, I'll do that later. That's an afterthought. You know, story is most important. Now, obviously the story is most important in your screenplay. I'm not saying that it ain't, but do you see how the idea of the formatting and the story being isolated or distinct from each other is completely nonsense. It's complete nonsense. And it, it's logically inconsistent. So it would kind of be like saying, my novel's story is so good that I don't need any punctuation, I don't need any chapters, and I don't even need consistent grammar. Because all of those get in the way of my story. <laughs> now, I'm exaggerating, of course, but you get my point. So here are the three reasons why formatting matters, not just because they are quote unquote rules, but because they matter to how your story in your script is being told. That's what I'm talking about with, <laughs> with this whole video and why if you change your mindset, you become a better screenwriter. So number one, professionalism. This is about how your script looks. When it comes to screenplays, book is judged by its cover. Usually not the actual cover sometimes, but especially the first, first page or the first couple pages of your script. And so if your story is really good, but your title page or your first page of your, of your script's formatting are really bad, it's gonna make you look like an amateur. And so someone who is reviewing your script is not even gonna wanna go into the story or they're gonna prejudge the story before they read it because it doesn't look like it's been made by a professional. Because the industry pros think if you can't get the formatting right, then why would your story be any good? So script readers and story executives have huge piles of scripts to read, metaphorically, of course, because they're PDFs. To them, it ain't really worth their time if things look shoddy on the outside. And so that's one of the reasons why formatting is so crucial and why it's part of your journey as a screenwriter is embracing formatting is because without having the proper formatting, especially the details down, you're probably not gonna be able to get your foot in the door so that people can experience your story. And this is why proper formatting is so crucial because without at least following the basics of these conventions, it's going to be a lot harder to get your foot in the door so that people will be even be willing to experience your story, to read it. Reason number two, cinematic storytelling, meaning what your script says. Now, you might think of cinematic storytelling in a screenplay as kind of meant to envision how the final film will look, including all the camera angles and the composition and where the music should go and all that kind of stuff. And unless you're the director of the film, that's not gonna be your job, all right? Your job as a screenwriter is to tell the story in a way that can be felt and later visualized by other creative people, all right? So I am a trained director. That's what my MFA is in. It's actually in directing. And so I'm writing a script for myself to direct and even I don't put in camera angles and stuff like that. So my recommendation, 
especially if you're just trying to break in, is that you should not do that either. And so rather than directing, you should try to think of cinematic storytelling on the page as essentially more of the process of mentally editing the story before it's been shot. So in that way, it should be like the final version of the film that people watch, but not in the way it looks, but in the way they experience the moments in the story like an editor would. And so I'm going to be first person to tell you that one of the best ways to train as a scriptwriter is to spend a few days or a few years working in an editing bay because of that very reason and having to piece stories together. So in order to edit on the page, you use the tools of grammar and unique conventions of formatting and literary devices and all these different things so that you can expand and compress spaces and time and story beats in visual ways so that people can experience these moments in your script in a certain way. So that's why I say leave the camera angles to the pros because it's more about editing on the page by how you format things and how you portray the story than trying to make someone imagine a certain type of visual image because that's a lot slower to read and it takes people out of the experience. So the sooner you embrace that, the sooner you're going to become an excellent screenwriter. And I actually made a quick tutorial for you on how you can use these visual storytelling techniques you can watch right here. But don't go away yet, because I've got one more reason for you, reason number three, and that is emotional language. That's how your script speaks to the reader, but kind of like at a level deeper than just the story itself. Screenplay formatting, like I said earlier, seems to some people like an arbitrary set of rules that just ensures that all the screenplays look the same. And that's, I mean, that's partially true because there are specific reasons why things are laid out that way. I'm not going to go into that here, but it's so much more than that. Screenplay format has been around long enough and gone through so many iterations through generations of artists and storytellers that it's become this sophisticated tool, like this type of blueprint for telling visual stories using only words. And so that's why there's so much attention paid to the details of writing craft, which are things like transmitting certain feelings through your word choice and through the grammar, using proper <laughs> um, verb tenses and proper voice perspective for thematic effect, using good versus bad sentence fragments to elicit certain reactions in the reader subconsciously, and especially, especially externalizing internal emotions. Because since screenplays are not novels, you can't always show very often what's happening on the inside but you can definitely externalize it on the outside in a way that uh, the camera can pick up. You're not writing it like the camera would pick it up, but you're writing it so the person reading can experience it and later translate that into the way that a camera can pick it up. And so you need to write it that way accordingly. These skills that go along with these, these top three reasons can be very difficult to master, especially if you're not confident in grammar or, or formatting, or if English is not your first language and you're trying to write in the English language. And it's especially difficult because screenplays require depth and intensity with the fewest words possible. <laughs> it's like the opposite of a novel, you know, where you can go on for pages and pages. So for a screenplay, you've really got to envision your story on paper in as pithy a way as possible while still being subjective and external. Subjective, so that you're using someone's particular point of view, the character's point of view, but also external so that it is filmable. And so you've got to do all of that and still convey strong emotions through your story. So that's why you're struggling with how screenplays work, especially with executing them on the page. That's why. And it's okay. There's, there's ways that you can learn how to do this. And all of those ways should be used to support the story that you're telling rather than distracting. Because story is the most important element. And your story is told partially through your formatting and all of these other techniques that I talked about that don't always get very much attention in the screenwriting world because so much of screenwriting uh, education is focused on these basic things like uh, who is your protagonist and your antagonist? What is their goal? What is their character arc? Um, what, are, what is the uh, kind of the stakes for this scene? And all of those are really important. I'm not saying they're not. And that's why you want to be able to show all of those things in a way that's accessible to the person who's reading your story and is ultimately the gatekeeper for taking that story to the next level and so it can eventually be sold and filmed and made into a movie. That is why 
I think a lot of people, especially if they first start out, have kind of the wrong mindset about formatting and why formatting, along with all the other craft-based tools that I talked about, should be part of your storytelling superpowers, okay? And once you can master those that I talked about, you'll be head and shoulders above all the other screenwriters out there. So if you are dying to learn these type of techniques and also learn how to leverage them in order to get your screenwriting career off the ground, then I've created a free training for you that you can uh, get a link for in the description or click the card right up here so that you can watch how to use visual storytelling to launch your screenwriting career. You can watch it right here.